in a modest workshop in downtown Accra, amid whirling sewing machines and discarded fabric. Amazing, amazing. Thing. Coco Bediaco talks grand designs. So whites with um, blue stitch. Recognized as one of Ghana's best young designers, he's already dressed the country's national football team. Now, Coco plans to take his chocolate clothing line global. Right from the word go, we wanted to build an empire. I mean, hey, it's your wedding, so you have to look very, very different from how you normally do. At the heart of this fledgling empire is Coco's attention to detail. Every garment is unique. Every client gets the personal touch, including me. So, um, you know, normally we normally get asked, ah, why chocolate? Why no other name but chocolate? And we keep on saying that we want to make clothes worth craving for. So we want people to crave you, you know, when you walk around. People I like go the sound like, of that. Oh, man, like, what's he wearing? His company is still growing, but growing fast. In three years, he's gone from a one-man operation to a small fashion house capable of handling a thousand orders a month. Everyone is different. Our design is key. We don't repeat the same renditions. Branding is very key. That's what a lot of people take for granted. Tell me, what do you prefer? The design and fashion side or the business side? I'm sorry, I think my love is with the arts. Business, for me, it just has to make sense. You know, it has to make sense enough for people who believe in that vision to also reap their benefits. As with all good fashion, it's all about attitude. So, so what do you think about the style? And Coco's already thinking like a major player. You're competing with Giorgio Armani, you're competing with Prada. I think it's a mindset game. Physically, we are not there now, but mentally we are there. Hey, come over, man. Come over, come over. Dressed to impress, Quoco's work on me is done. You look so, I love it. I love it. I mean, hey, I think the, the color was a beautiful uh, choice. One thing is for sure, though. Quoco's clothes have a much better chance of reaching the world's top catwalks than I do. Amir Daftari. Thank you, Take care, man. Ghana, here I come. CNN, Accra.